What's up guys, welcome back to Vanover Customs and in today's video we're continuing with the Lion Lathe project and we're focusing on this massive tailstock. So let me bring you in closer and show you what we're going to be doing to this guy. Before we get this over to the bench, I am curious to see how much this guy weighs. So we're going to take this handle off, sling it up and see where we're at. Let's see how much this bad boy weighs. I'm gonna guess 600 pounds. That's hilarious. All right, cool. First step is to just get the paint stripped so that way we have a clean slate. So we'll hit this with the needle scaler and see where we're at from there. All right, we got the paint removed. Let's talk about some of the issues that this tailstock has and how we're gonna solve those. So the first thing that's the most obvious is this handle takes a little bit more force than I would like to turn. Uh, the, this handle is not locked. So that's just because this has been sitting for a while. It's a little bit dirty. There's a little bit of surface rust. So that should be fixed no problem by taking the coil out, just polishing it up and properly lubricating everything. Um, but that's something we're gonna address. The other thing is this handle has uh, almost half a turn, um, probably like 30% turn of backlash. I would like to fix that, it's not a major deal, but the nut probably has a decent amount of wear. These quills take a lot of wear, so that's something that we might look into. Other than that, uh, this tailstock really isn't in that bad of shape. Mostly just taking everything apart, cleaning it. These oilers up here are in bad shape, so we're gonna replace those. Uh, this quill here has some burrs on the inside from when some drill bits have spun. So I picked up a Morris Taper 6 reamer. We're gonna run through there. And then obviously we're gonna be doing a two-speed tailstock conversion and there'll be an entire separate video on that. So with all that, let's start to get this thing disassembled and kind of go from there.
I need a bigger battery. Milwaukee 12 amp hour. Man, the amount of force that's taken to pull out of there. All right, 12-0. This bar is bending. Let's see what we got. There it is, it's coming. Loosen this up. Oh, I was dragging on this, but oh yeah, we had we had some thick taper pins in there, and I thought I got them. They would not come out. I had to drill them. Boom! Holy cow! Well, that was fun. Sometimes you gotta go full gorilla. And I didn't know fully what was holding this on. I had a speculation. Uh, I removed two set screws here, and when I looked in, I saw a small hole, and then when I looked on the back, I seen a big hole. And I thought that that set screw blocked access for a taper pin. But I can tell you what, I had these snap-on punches, the best punches that you can buy, and I had it over here with the holder and I was wailing on these. I bent these and I was giving it everything I had and, and it wasn't coming out. And so I was questioning whether they were taper pins. I was trying to hit from the other side, trying to hit from this side, but I focused most of my attention on the side that appeared to be smaller. Um, and I could not get them out. Short of bending a punch, the biggest punch I can get in there, I don't know how you'd get those out. So the next, best way is to drill the pins out, kind of hoping they are taper pins and not something else. And I was able to drill from both sides and the drill wasn't straight, but we made it through. And then I used that automotive bearing puller and literally just pulled it out. Now when it pulled out, you know, some of these taper pins were still in there, you know, like a part of it uh, because I didn't drill perfectly straight and because I didn't know for sure they were taper pins, but we got it apart no real damage. Uh, we're probably not gonna be too worried about these anyway since we're redoing this whole back cap. But just wanted to kinda show you, hey, sometimes you gotta get crazy. Well, we got the feed screw out of the tailstock and everything looks really nice. The nut has a little bit of play. You can see more side to side, to be honest. It's probably passable, but with the play we have in that handle and the fact that we're probably making a new screw anyway, We'll probably uh, do a new nut as well since we have it torn down this far. It's not out of bronze, so it's probably cast iron, but we'll do a spark test to verify and go from there.